on this channel we only give you updates that concerns chelsea and chelsea as for the case of rumors and speculations um i talked about sao grassi yesterday that we heard some rumors and speculation about that player that chelsea are monitoring the situation of sao grassi but we don't know how concrete chelsea are pushing for him but we are just hearing it as mere rumor Number one, once you go no be say transfer, they always appear as rumor before it turns out to be real. After all, Moses Casaido, I know how we rumored Moses Casaido before everything turned out to be dream come true for Chelsea Football Club. So we can be rumoring this uh, Sao Grassi right now, thinking that ah, it's just mere rumor, it's just mere rumor. Before you will know, you just hear ah, there's a concrete conversation between Stuttgart and Chelsea concerning. Uh, Sao Grassi, that Chelsea are really keen on signing this player, this one, blah, blah, blah. Before you know, they don't trigger the release clause, 15 million pounds, they don't bring the player coming. And guess what? I believe that somebody like Sao Grassi will do well in Chelsea, considering the fee. But normally, if it's not that now that some Chelsea fans are trying to understand how this market and how locks come with signing of player happen, before, we believe that, ah, once the player is expensive, he's very good. He sound, he knows what he's doing, but one is less expensive. Mm -mm. It doesn't. It's not. It's not good. He doesn't know what he's doing. There's no need. Oh, we got him for free. Oh more. This guy no go ball for Chelsea now free of charge. But somebody like Thiago Silva proved us wrong. Palmer proved us wrong. How much was Palmer? Forty million pounds. Proved us wrong. How much did we sign Mudrik? Somebody that we sign almost eight something have been at something million pounds. Yet you have not even gotten the best out of him. We are just hoping. We are still under the the line of hope. We are still hoping. Do you, do you understand? So let's see how it goes for the case of this Sao Grassi. If truly, truly, the speculation will turn out to be true. But mind you, Chelsea are not the only team monitoring the situation. We have other teams from Europe monitoring this Sao Grassi. It all depends on the player. If Chelsea are keen and serious and say, okay, fine, we hear tomorrow that ah, Chelsea are serious, they want to do this business, they want to bring in Sao Grassi, I'll be very happy, but that will depend on the player if he will be willing to come to Chelsea. You understand? But definitely, somebody like that no go talk no to Chelsea now. Or he go talk no, no, he won't say no. But another thing again, considering the state and the way Chelsea do their business up front in terms of from midfield to attack, Will they sign somebody like Sao Grassi? His age, 28 years of age. Will they do that business? But let's see how everything plays out. Mind you, I am not saying this to write off the case of Joan Duran. I'm not writing off Joan Duran. Joan Duran case is very, very serious. And Chelsea are ready to finalize that deal. If Chelsea should finalize the deal of Joan Duran, then I believe that um, somebody like um, uh, Sao Grassi rumored talk will calm down. Do you understand? We really, really calm down. So let's see how everything plays out for the number nine position. But come to think of it, football now has gotten a new face. You must not wait till you get a proper nine before your team gets to the promised land. After all, Real Madrid won three trophies without a proper nine. Am I lying? Am I lying? Was it not people midfielders that were scoring the goals? Was it not wingers that was doing the job? Was Benzema there? Was, Morata, was Morata there or anybody that they signed in Spain there as a proper nine for them? It's not that Mbappe, even Mbappe self is not a number nine. He's not a number nine, like, uh, like a proper nine, like prolific nine. But he can play in that role, but not effectively. Mbappe likes to play from the wing. You see? So they need that proper nine, but they did it last season without a proper nine. Do you understand? So, if Chelsea should enter the summer transfer and they don't end up getting any striker and they end up sticking to uh, wingers and midfielders, maybe it's left for the coach to know how to make use of them and get results out of them. After all, Kupama scored about 20-something goals last season. Madrid scored how many goals? Jackson scored how many goals last season? And which other player? Mudri, how many goals? Sterling. So definitely anybody can score as far as you, you are clinical up front once the opportunity has been given. 
You understand? I'm just saying this just in case after all these rumors and speculations, Chelsea end up not signing any striker. We should just stick to what we have up front. You understand? In irrespect of the fact that we want to strengthen up our attacking area by getting a proper nine, we should not forget. We should not also forget about the defense because we need our defense to be solid. Check how many goals we considered last season. Almost 60 goals, if I'm not mistaken. Do you understand? So we need our defense line to be very, very strong. If the defense line is strong, I don't think this rumor of getting a new goalkeeper will be that solid for us to get a new goalkeeper. Instead, we'll just stick to Petrovic and Sanchez. After all, Mareska, we don't talk saying like Sanchez. You understand? So let's see how it goes for these rumored players. Let's see if Chelsea can do justice to any of them. The truth is that, just like I said, we don't need to sign much. We don't need to sign much. Even the left wing back, we have not been hearing much about that left wing back position. But Chelsea still need to sign a left wing back. That is why I said that. I will not bank on somebody like Ben Chiwe. And with what Kukurela is displaying in the heroes right now, I'm scared. The way they put oil in, but the oil in energy, fine. Nobody they talk, say make you no know, put your body for your national team or make you no know, play your heart out. But in respect of the fact, say they try to play your heart out, try they careful. Try they very, very careful. See the way he put his body on the line yesterday for that goal where Croatia people for score. See the way he defend. But that defense was very, very good. It was very good. Everybody was talking about Kukurela yesterday. So in respect of that, he should be very, very careful in the Euros because I will not like Enzo Mareska to come in and meet injured players. Then we face what we faced last season, this, uh, this coming season. I won't like it. So everybody, just like I said, I want 90% of or 99.9% of Chelsea players to be fit. You understand? That's the way I want it. I want those players, I want those guys to be fit for Mareska. You understand? Then, as for the case of Armando Broja, we also heard that AC Milan sent some scouts to monitor and follow up um, Armando Broja yesterday to see how he performs. But unfortunately, my man not to perform like that. I know go blame him. See the country they play for, Serbia. I know go write Serbia off, you understand. They, are, they get very good team. They get good players. But for them to make Broja their number nine, Get a CPO. But any Asha, Broja just need to sit up. He just needs to sit up in this competition so that more eyes will be on him. Apart from AC Milan that we are hearing, more eyes will be on him and also take him very, very serious. But that does not mean that AC Milan ha are giving up on him. They are not giving up on him. They will still be monitoring the situation to know how far so that if they like what they are seeing, they will trigger what they want to trigger and get the player to their team. You understand? So let's wish somebody like Broja luck so that AC Milan fee sign him. He don't that boy don't go loan. He don't pass the level of loan. If nobody say the way they play football now, nobody the standard at which Chelsea wants. Him for their Chelsea. After all, they gave him chance last season. They've been given a chance before the January move to Fulham. They've been given space to see if he go fit meet up with Jackson. I know say another thing we mess Broja up in injury. That injury we get for that friendly match against Aston Villa. Was it Aston Villa v West Ham? Then just cast that boy. Just mess him up. But let's see how the situation will look like in case of in the case of AC Milan following up his situation. You understand? So let's see how it will play it will play out. Then Michael Olise. Well, there's nothing much about Michael Olise. There's nothing much. It's tomorrow that we'll start hearing much about this Michael Olise. The whether Chelsea are really keen on doing that business. I mean, keen in terms of signing. Then they're ready. They want to go meet Crystal Palace instead and say, Guy, we want to sign this boy today. This is the money. Bring the paper. Let's do this business. Because with all indication, I believe that the player self has agreed to come to Chelsea. But it just remains on the club side. You understand? It just remains on the club side. Let's see how they will handle the case of Michael Olisi. Then, lastly, um, Guy Chris, I feel Guy Chris, that uh, young defender that helped us last season. <laughs> I not gonna lie, you that boy helped us last season. No, I remember when the Sassi no been the Gusto no been the the boy. Now nah, the boy said they got to the use so, to the point Pochino use him as right wing back, use him as center defender, center back, use him as left center back. 
the only place they even use them as left wing back. So the boy really helped us last season. But Chelsea are ready to listing to loan off offers from Championship Club for Afigi Chris to be ready to listen to offers from Afigi Chris. Let's see how they will handle the Chris situation this summer. And also this Bayern Muniz are really keen on doing this business of signing Kobe. Chelsea don't tell them, say they're not going to sign the uh, Kobe. But Kobe, the other way around, with rumors and waiting with the year, they ask say, Kobe go they ready to list him just in case a concrete move is being made to sign him. You understand? That is from Bayern Munich. But definitely, if Chelsea wants to sign person like Kobe, maybe Bayern Munich ready to tie rapper, tie strong rapper because the feed no go be here. Thank you very much. My name is Peters.